welcome to Tracy Momi Reads. I am back today with another book review. Today I'm going to be reviewing Role Playing by Kathy Yardley. Role Playing. This book um, was a prime, I think they call it first reads. I'm an Amazon Prime member. I have been an Amazon Prime member probably longer than some people have been alive. <laughs> Whenever that first started, I became a Prime member. And I'm talking about when there was nothing on Amazon but books. So it's been a long time. Um, and I used to get it just for like deliveries. You know, they had books and a few other things on Amazon before it became this monster uh, of a online store that it is today. And over the years, you know, they added benefits in addition to the shipping, uh, free shipping you know, you uh, they introduced their music, the Prime Music, and then of course Prime, their streaming services. Um, but the books is, you know, the big piece of what I primarily use Prime for. I mean, around the holidays now, I take advantage, total advantage of all the shipping. But once a month, they allow uh, Prime members on the Kindle, you know, if you have a Kindle, um, or even if you have the app, you get a free, a book or a free story that you can download to your your library and in addition throughout the year they have a lending library just for prime members so this was a book that i got you know as a prime member to keep in my library and i think i may have mentioned this before you know i have an idea you know of like books that i want to read and books that i want to eventually talk about and it may be like okay before the end of the month um before the end of the year but i'm not like rigid on like my you know checking books off because a lot of times it's based on you know what i'm in the mood for and this book just came out of the blue and i started reading it and I really liked it <laughs> so i finished it and here we are even though i was actually in the process of reading another book that's moving kind of slow so this one came along i was able to finish it like in a day and a half and i was like oh we're switching gears so back to the book <laughs> role playing by kathy yardley like i said it was a quick read it is in I'm put my notes up here it is in the romance genre and it had a cute premise okay there's a divorced woman who's an uh, recently empty nester her son went off to college and she lives in a small town and you know she's uh, you know she doesn't want to admit it but she's lonely you know she meets a, a guy in the town who is there he's taking care of his elderly mother because he came back to take care of his father who passed away and he stayed because his mother is up in age and he's trying to you know make sure she's good or whatever and the the way that they meet and all this is in the blurb in one way or another I'm, I'm probably like stretching it out but because she had a teenage son like one of the things that they did is a bonding thing like she was into gaming you know she was a gamer and and they're both like i think the male character in the story um is 50 or 51 and she's like 48 so they're you know they're both like midlifers or whatever and he doesn't have any kids but he's also a gamer and he's taking some classes he uh sold part of his business to his uh, former partner when he like left to come back home to take care of his parents so now he's trying to figure out his next move and he's like taking a couple of classes at the community college so she joins this gaming group you know with these guys who all say they go to this community college and he's in that group right and he finds out that she's the friend of somebody that goes to church with his mom so they both are thinking that she's thinking he's at this community college oh he's like my son's age and he's thinking oh this is one of my mom's friends friends this is someone my mother's age so they become friends they're doing like little side chats in the game thing or whatever and uh they they become friends and they both think it's kind of odd that they are so like connected or drawn to this person <laughs> who is old enough to be my mother old enough to be my son type thing right and then something happens where they meet face to face and they realize, okay, we're the same damn age. Thank God. <laughs> you know, it's no wonder we have this connection or whatever. And I thought that it was um, 
at first I was thinking, oh, because they had like a, 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 a accidental type meeting. They saw each other at a party, but they didn't know who each other was. Like they didn't know that this is the person they've been playing a game with. And they, it was kind of like, like ships passing in the night type thing. Because, and yeah, so when they actually meet and they realize, you know, again, that they're the same age uh, or in the same generation, uh, it does kind of take things to another level. They start to feel more comfortable, you know, talking to each other more, uh, meeting up in real life and, and, and things like that. And, you know, this was the first time in a long time that I read a story where the characters who were essentially strangers, they were virtual strangers and they meet and become friends, where they actually had like real chemistry that you could you know when you're reading it you it was kind of palpable you know like it didn't seem forced or one-sided or unrealistic or like it had went too fast or anything like that these two characters you know it was maggie and aiden were their names i felt like their story and their growing affection for each other it seemed real and it seemed authentic you know like i said it wasn't forced um and Maggie, she was at the age, and I will tell you, it does come with the territory. Like when you get to a certain age, and it's usually 40 plus, you know, and, and beyond, you really do start, to, like, I, I think exhaustion kicks in. And, and you're just, you've gotten so tired of people pleasing and trying to do the right thing and say the right thing and be the right thing that you just become so unapologetic in how you feel about shit because number one like i said it's exhausting but number two you're realizing that you're getting towards the other side of life where you don't have as much time you know ahead of you as you do behind you so i'm gonna say what i want to say i'm gonna do what i want to do i'm gonna feel how i want to feel and you know a lot of people <laughs> making their feelings hurt in the process you know, maybe maybe it's time that you take another path or go another way, you know, because this, this is who I am and this is who I'm going to be until the rest of my years remaining here on this earth. And that's that's the place where she was, you know. Um, like I said, she was uh, divorced. I think she had been divorced for about five years, but she spent a lot of time in that marriage trying to be the person he wanted her to be. And even, you know, with her son, you know, she's trying to be the perfect mom, sacrificing herself, uh, like most mothers do so that her son could have, you know, maybe a life that she didn't have because she grew up with her grandparents after her parents died in a car accident. But I really loved Maggie's feistiness in this story and how, uh, you know, she just said what she wanted to say. And if she didn't want to do something, it's like, okay, I don't want to do that. You know, she went to a party because her and her son had made this deal. You know, he wanted her to become more social because he felt like she was becoming a hermit now that he was no longer at home. So she went, she scoped out the scene. She, you know, did an obligatory selfie and she was like, I'm going home. You know, it's just, I just, I don't feel like being here anymore type thing. No excuses, no anything. You know, it is what it is. So I really, in, you know, enjoyed that, the the, the uh, wittiness and sarcasm and snark, the way that she wrote her. And it wasn't from a place of, um, like, cruelty or cr being cruel. It's just, like I said, she was a woman who, she just, she was tired of trying to do what everybody else wanted her to do. And she just was over it. And Aiden, on the other hand, he was still kind of in that, even though he's a 50 year old man, and I don't know if, if men are just are different in this way, but it's like he was still, you know, trying to please his parents, trying to do the right thing, taking care of his mother, going to stuff he didn't want to go to and all this. And she helped him come out of that very quickly because I will say that his mother, she had to be, I mean, at the youngest, maybe 70, but she probably was a little bit older than that because like I said, Aiden is 50, so his mom, if she had him at 18, 20 or whatever, she's in her 70s uh, or older. And I do notice that, you know, with some of the baby boomers, not all, because, you know, my mom, God rest her soul, she would have been a baby boomer. And like my aunt, she's still living. She's a baby boomer. She's 77. There's this thing about some of the uh, boomers where 
you know, they come from this generation where you're just taught to respect your elders and, you know, this type of thing, like no questions asked. And, and that's kind of how we were raised, you know, Generation X. But some of these older people are disrespectful as hell. Like they will say things and not unlike Maggie, but unlike Maggie, like Maggie just didn't deal with people she didn't want to deal with. You know, there, 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 there was no like need for her to be nasty or mean because it's like I'm not dealing with that I'm, I don't want to do it and if, but if somebody was trying to help her she was gracious and you know considerate and all those things but Aiden's mom she was just nasty and just you know said all kind of mean things and this man is essentially given up his life to come take care of her and she just was not appreciative at all and you know but he still respected her and, and didn't say anything out of way and, and you know because that was his mother but it was clear she had no respect for him and you know the shit has to be a two-way street when you get to become a grown-ass adult you know i feel like even an older parent should still respect you, you know, and respect your boundaries and respect the fact that you're human and that, you know, th that their words, you know, could affect you in, in uh, one way or another. But, you know, I guess that's where the generational trauma comes in, <laughs> you know, right there, because I, some older people, they're never going to see you as an adult, you're always going to be the kid or, you know, the younger person and someone that they feel that they have some type of authority over. So anyway, <laughs> by the end of the book, yeah, Aiden's mom, she got an earful from her son. <laughs> um, the story, you know, like I said, it's in the romance genre. So there was a lot of them getting to know each other, getting to know each other's backstories, um, you know, getting to know the people that they were currently you know um and i think that's when you're you have like you're dealing with mature characters and who are beyond the people pleasing and really trying to impress people you get more of an authentic thing you know you don't have somebody that's going to be dressing up and putting on fake eyelashes and and i'm not saying there's anything wrong with that I love a good pair of fake eyelashes. I don't know how to put them on. But you know, when, like when you're younger, like you didn't want maybe the guy to catch you without your makeup on. Or you didn't want him to see you with your hair out of place. Or, you know, you always tried to put yourself together and, and this type of thing. And when you're older, it's like, yeah, you can come over. I'm in my sweats and my t-shirt. And this is like a blossoming relationship. I'm not talking about two people that have known each other for a long time. She was just like, it is what it is. I've already gotten comfortable, but you can, you can, sure, you can pull up, but I'm not going to do anything special. And, but he liked her like that. You know, he thought she was beautiful without makeup. And they just, I feel like they formed a really authentic relationship and they were on the same page the same page in so many ways now if you read also the category here for this particular book um and i like this illustration on the front because it kind of matches like the description she gave of what they both look like um but if you read the, the the description or like the category of this book, it has a subcategory that the book is in the LGBTQIA plus um, realm, right? So I saw that going in, but I also saw that, you know, like um, Maggie had a son and, you know, I knew there was like some gaming people involved and that type of thing. So I'm thinking, you know, that maybe that's where we're gonna you know get some of that or that's where we're gonna meet a character in the community or something like that and i will tell you um i was not uh i mean it's, it wasn't a matter of being prepared but that was one part of the book that i was kind of very surprised by like the character that ended up being in that community you know and i'm, I'm still kind of processing that because i don't know what the purpose of that was, you know? I don't know if it was just really, cause I'm not familiar with the author. I don't know if she's in the in the, in the uh, LGBTQIA plus community. I don't know if maybe she writes books in that genre a lot, um, but I'm just trying to figure out, and I'm not, I'm not saying this in a bad way, but like the purpose of the character revealing what was revealed. And I don't know if that was to give more 
uh, rationale or reasoning for the relationship with their family because of this this history or if it was just really to bring attention because I felt informed after I read that I was like I've never heard of that that's a that's a category that's a you know a designation that's an identification for people so maybe it was just to really bring um knowledge and information to the reader i'm not sure but it took me for a loop because i i was about to get mad and i'm gonna tell you why because i thought that was going to throw a monkey wrench in this blossoming you know friendship and relationship i thought that that whole thing was gonna you know implode because of you know something that was revealed but it it did not it did not mess with that so i was like well fine as long as they end up getting together <laughs> let what's going to happen happen and they did you know she wrote some really you know steamy and, and funny scenes uh between the two of them uh when in the intimate parts of it, it and it, it was funny and i think that that is also true when you get to a certain age like there's less less self-confidence you know, when it comes to um, intimate relations, because again, there's just this whole, it is what it is, you know, there's no holding the stomach in or trying to, you know, look cute or do this or that. Dude, I've had a whole baby. I'm like 48. I've lived. This is, this is what you're going to get, you know? So I really appreciate the realism that she brought in when the two of them ended up getting together. But yeah, overall, it was a really cute, story and i and i hate to say that because of the characters but it was it was cute it was it was romantic it was funny uh it was peppered with realism and there was some um you know, there was a couple of heavy moments but not where it was like i mean because in life there are heavy moments so again i feel like that there was some realism there but um yeah i really enjoyed it and it was it was such a a pleasant surprise because like i said when I was reading, because you know, with the Prime, when they give you the books, that you have several that you can choose from. You can only choose one. So I always go and I read the blurb. And most of the time they're very new. So there's not a lot of like solid reviews that you can really depend on. But, um, you know, it had, I think it had four stars. But out of all the books that they were offering for, for Prime readers um, last month, because this was the last month's book, June, um this one to me seemed the most interesting and so uh yeah i took a chance on it and just started kind of reading the first page and next thing you know the next day i was done with it so yeah kathy yardley's book role playing and, and um even though you know i got it for my kindle or whatever you can actually i'm looking here now it uh it is available in uh paperback and uh ebook obviously and audiobook it looks like so whatever your method or preference is for um you know getting the stories you know you have a few options there but if you love a good romance uh if you love books with mature characters small town uh, books that take place in small towns where everybody knows every damn body <laughs> you're always like running into the same people um if you like books where um like you see the character growth or where a character who maybe is kind of oppressed or shamed in a way gets to you know blossom at the end and come out of that and stand up for themselves then you would really really enjoy role playing by Kathy Yardley and I would give this a solid four stars yeah again still waiting on that five star read this year but um I have her like you know half a year left and I have some good ones on my TBR that I will finish before the end of the year so fingers crossed that I can get in towards the end of the year some five star reads because I'm really looking for books that are just you know I like the quick reads and the feel goods and all that stuff but I want something that I didn't see coming something that's gonna like you know make my heart pound maybe want to throw it across the room maybe make my eyes get a little moist <laughs> that's the kind of books i'm looking for so anyway if you have a read role playing by kathy yardley let me know your thoughts about it in the comment and especially when the whole um lgbtqia plus piece came in like what did you think about that 
And if you have any books that you'd like to recommend that you might think I would, you know, give five stars to, please leave those in the comments as well. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like this video and go ahead and subscribe to my channel. 700 subscribers, 704 I think to be exact. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all 704 of you. I sincerely appreciate it. Still got six months left. We, I, I feel like the, the, the 1,000 subscribers is still doable. Tell your friends, tell them, tell their friends. Subscribe to my channel. You won't regret it. You guys enjoy the rest of your week and have a great weekend. Bye.